What's up, NFL fans? Welcome back to the channel, Beavis Talk Sports. I am back again with my weekly NFL spread picks predictions. For those who have been following the channel, we got nearly 60% of against spread picks correct in week 11. Unfortunately, we did not get both teaser parlays correct, but close to 60% individually. That is pretty good. Let's keep the momentum going into week 12. First game, Detroit Lions versus the Indianapolis Colts. Right now, the line is at seven and a half. The Detroit Lions have been feasting on AFC South teams all season, dropped a 50 piece on the Titans and the Jaguars and beat the Houston Texans by three points from a come from behind victory. Even though the Indianapolis Colts beat the New York Jets, they almost blew a two possession lead against the Jets and beat the Jets by one point. I don't think that the Colts are good enough to keep it within three with the Lions, nor do I think the Colts will give up 50 points against the Lions. So I'm going to give it to the Lions. Give me the Lions minus seven and a half. The Indianapolis Colts are bottom five in rush defense, and I won't be surprised if I see Montgomery or Gibbs both getting touchdowns in this game. The Lions, I think they could beat this Colts team by about 10 points. So give me the Detroit Lions seven and a half. They've been really well coming against the spread throughout the year. Kansas City Chiefs versus the Carolina Panthers. Right now, the spread is at 10 and a half. It's been going up from 11, 10 and a half, 10, somewhere along the lines. Give me the Carolina Panthers at plus 10 and a half. Right now, the total is at 43. Typically, when the total is quite low, double-digit spreads do tend to cover to the opposing teams that are underdogs. But I don't trust the Chiefs to blow out a team. Exactly kind of like the Panthers, I don't trust the Chiefs to blow out the Panthers. And I do think that the Panthers can make this game a bit interesting. The Chiefs have not covered in four straight games. The Panthers have covered in two straight games during their winning streak. I'd like the home team to at least cover this 10.5 against the Chiefs. Panthers, 10.5. Tampa Bay Buccaneers versus the New York Giants. Both teams are coming off their bye. The line is at six right now. In the beginning of the week, it was around three and a half, three. It's gone up to six. The New York Giants have released Daniel Jones. They're starting Tommy DeVito. Don't know how comfortable I feel taking this Buccaneers team with a six. Not a big fan of their defense. And you have a scrappy Tommy DeVito coming to this game in which from now, from here on now, it's kind of like an audition for him to be quarterback for next year. So give me the Tampa Bay Buccaneers from minus six down to a minus three. This is going to be a part of a teaser parlay that I'll have throughout this video. So give me the Tampa Bay Buccaneers minus six to a minus three. I feel comfortable of the Buccaneers team being as Giants by three points and I do having them cover a six against a scrappy DeVito. So give me the Buccaneers minus three. Tennessee Titans versus the Houston Texans. Right now the line is at eight. The Houston Texans in all of the divisional games, yes, they are three and zero within their division, but in the three games that they've played, they've had an average margin of victory of three points. So even though they've been playing well and winning, they're very, very tight games. Don't know how I feel about taking the eight against the Titans. It is a divisional game. They've been very close. This is going to be a part of a teaser parlay, six-point teaser. Give me the Houston Texans from a minus eight down to a minus two. They're beating teams in their division for an about three points. I do feel comfortable taking the Texans being the Titans by minus two than I do with them being them by a position since they've yet to do that within their division. Houston Texans minus eight to a minus two. Dallas Cowboys versus the Washington Commanders. NFC East divisional game. Give me the Commanders at minus 10 and a half. The Commanders run the ball at a very high clip and the Dallas Cowboys cannot stop the run for the life of them. I do not expect the Cowboys to be within 10 and a half and I do not expect the Cowboys to stop the run against this hungry Commanders team that have now lost two straight and want to keep things interesting within their division. Give me the com Commanders at minus 10 and a half. New England Patriots versus the Miami Dolphins. Right now the line is at seven and a half. I do like a scrappy Drake May to keep this game close. I do think the Dolphins will win this game, but I do think that the Dolphins are starting to get hot a little bit. Two-game winning streak. They're coming back home to Miami against a rookie quarterback. Give me the Miami Dolphins at minus 7.5. In the last four games, the Dolphins are 4-0 against the spread against the Patriots. The Dolphins are really trying to squeak into the AFC Put a playoff picture and at least make the wild card. Give me the Dolphins to prove a statement against the Patriots. No matter how scrappy they are with Drake May, I do like the Dolphins to cover the seven and a half and within their division and keep the against the spread winning streak alive. Minnesota Vikings versus the Chicago Bears. Right now the line is at three and a half. NFC North classic divisional matchup. Have a weird feeling about this game. I do think the Vikings will beat the Bears, but give me the Chicago Bears at plus three and a half. 
The Vikings tend to throw a ball a lot. Sam Darnold has not been playing his best ball in within the past few weeks. The Chicago Bears have a very solid defense. They are at home, and I do think that the Bears will make Sam Darnold make a couple of mistakes. I like the Bears at three and a half. I think this game will be a lot closer than what people think it will be. NFC North divisional matchup. A lot of their games have been close. Give me the Bears at three and a half to make it close against the Minnesota Vikings. Denver Broncos versus the Las Vegas Raiders. Right now, the line is at six. I do think the Broncos win this game. Don't know how I feel about taking the six in a divisional matchup. Give me the Denver Broncos from minus six down to a minus three. That will be a teaser parlay with the Tampa Bay Buccaneers at a minus three. So my first teaser parlay will be Buccaneers minus three, Denver Broncos at minus three. I do think that the Denver Broncos defense will stop this Raiders offense. Bo Nix has been playing well the past few weeks. Six touchdowns, zero interceptions, keeping the momentum alive. Top 20 quarterback in this league, in my opinion. I do like the Broncos to beat this Raiders team by three points in a nice AFC, AFC West divisional matchup. San Francisco 49ers versus the Green Bay Packers. Right now, the line is at three and a half. It did start the week at one and a half. It's gone up to three and a half. It's looking like Brock Purdy may not play this game. If he does not play this game, I am taking the Packers probably up to four and a half, five. But give me the Green Bay Packers at minus three and a half. I do think that the Packers will cover against the 49ers. Um, if Brock Purdy is not healthy. If Brock Purdy is healthy and he's good to go and he's playing and the line is at three and a half, three, I would take 49ers at that spot, three and a half, three, no Brock Purdy, Packers three and a half. So there are contingents with the spread. Green Bay Packers minus three and a half without Brock Purdy, three and a half, three with Purdy, give me 49ers. Arizona Cardinals versus the Seattle Seahawks. Right now the line is at one. It's been going back and forth to plus one to minus one to both teams throughout the week. Um, I know the Seattle Seahawks got a nice divisional win against the San Francisco 49ers. Not fully buying into them just yet. Give me the Arizona Cardinals at plus one. I do believe that they are the better team. They're number one in their division. I understand that the Seahawks are probably getting the hype because they beat the 49ers, but the 49ers, but the 49ers have been collapsing in their division. The, the Rams beat the 49ers in the second half of the game. The Cardinals had a nice come from behind victory. So I'm not buying the full hype of the Seattle Seahawks just yet. That was a nice come from behind victory against the 49ers, but the 49ers haven't been playing that well within their division this year. I like the better team in this game. Give me the Arizona Cardinals at plus one, especially since they're on a nice winning streak. I trust the Cardinals at plus one than I do with Seahawks minus one. Philadelphia Eagles versus the LA Rams. Right now, the line is at two and a half. This is going to be a very interesting game. I do not know who will win. I think this game will be very 50-50. This is the type of game where I can see Nick Sirianni making a couple mistakes and the Rams and Sean McVay can cook and have a nice upset at home against the Philadelphia Eagles or the Philadelphia or the LA Rams can just get obliterated. I just don't know which Rams team is going to show up. Is it going to be the Rams team that showed up against the Minnesota Vikings or the Rams team that showed up against the Miami Dolphins? I do think that the Rams can keep this game close. I really think this Rams team can keep this game close. The Eagles defense have been really solid, but we have yet to see this Eagles team be tested against a nice, solid wide receiver duo in Cooper Cub and Puka Nakua. You have Matthew Stafford, who's played against Vic Fangio in that defensive scheme. So there's a lot of things that can be a little bit weird in walking this game. I don't like the two and a half in this game. So this will be a part of the sick of my second six point of my second teaser parlay, the 6.1. Give me the LA Rams from two and a half up to eight and a half. I am parlaying the LA Rams at plus eight and a half with the Houston Texans minus two. That would be my second teaser parlay. That would be my six point spread. And last but not least, we have the Baltimore Ravens versus the LA Chargers. Right now, the spread is at two and a half. Give me the Baltimore Ravens at two and a half. I cannot go against the Baltimore Ravens and Lamar Jackson on prime time. This is where Lamar Jackson tends to have MVP kind of games. Yes, I understand that the LA Chargers have been playing very well, very solid defense. And I know Justin Herbert can throw on this defense, but they've yet to play a team like the Baltimore Ravens this season. The Ravens tend to have really great games on prime time. And I like the Baltimore Ravens at minus two and a half, as I do believe the Ravens will not only win this game, but cover against the Chargers. So give me the Baltimore Ravens minus two and a half. 
Thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed the content, please give the video a thumbs up and comment below on your Week 12 NFL spread picks. Thank you so much and catch you guys next week.